All right, so there was a clip shared with me where EVS on one of his live streams talks about diversity and history and stuff. So let's watch the clip and then we'll talk about it. It's stupid no, stuff. okay, look, if it's a, like a gender swap, woke swap, yeah, I get it. But like, again, there was a Batman animated series follow-up coming out from Bruce Tim, the guy who created Batman the Animated Series. Was there a bunch of women on it, though? <laughs> no, that's not what it was. It was like, gotta say, 100% women free. It's basically, all they said was, listen, we're setting it during this kind of like 1920s, like, uh, what, what was that era called? Golden like the age? jazz, yeah, golden age, like jazz era or whatever. Yeah, and they're like, but the boom, yeah, but they're like, but it's not going to like have the same racial makeup as Don't, that. No, out, done. I think it was ash. <laughs> Look at their own. Oh yeah, who's going to be in it? A bunch of black chicks, and they're all gay. Done. Get it out of here. <laughs> I think they were saying that it's not exactly the 1920s. It's a 1920s themed, you know, thing. What's so the theme? Black people. Black yeah. people around in the 1920s. It's just that instead of just having them as bellhops and fucking jazz no, singers, Boardwalk Empire they might did do other good. stuff. Board, Boardwalk Empire did it well. Okay. Did you see that show? No, actually. Nucky Thompson. I have not seen oh, that show Empire. was great. A lot of good diversity, good diversity in that one. I have a buddy who looks exactly like a young Steve Buscemi, and he almost he was this close. Well, I mean, SJWs they they want diversity. They want to rewrite the past so that it makes them comfortable. Like they they want to apologize for the past by rewriting it and making like uh, black people uh, treated better and differently than they were, uh, better educated, you know, uh, better place in society because it makes them feel better to produce that work. But it's not representative of reality. It's not the way things were. It's not historically accurate. And that's why they're fucking annoying. All right. So I just want to put this out there. Um, when you are making a work of fiction, which is a vast majority of stuff in like comic books, TV shows, movies, when you're making a work of fiction, you are not beholden to the fidelity of history because you're not making a documentary. So it doesn't matter if you change history or not because you are creating a fictional world, whether it's a fictional earth in the 1970s or a fictional earth in the 1800s, whatever it is, you're creating it as an artist. It's your piece of work. So when you do that, you are not beholden to being historically accurate. There's no reason for you to be historically accurate when you're creating your own world. And so this idea that people that want to take like a story, as they were saying, you know, Batman 1920 style or whatever, and change it up and make it different however they wanted to make it different whether they wanted to make it like the jetsons and add like spacecrafts in it or they wanted to do like a steampunk thing or they wanted to make it a more diverse world whatever they wanted to do it doesn't matter if it's not historically accurate and people generally when they say stuff like that when they're like oh it's not historically accurate so avoid it blah 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 sjw's want to do it because it makes them feel good all of these different like things they do to sort of cope with diversity um when they do that for me, it's an immediate red flag because I'm like, why do you care if somebody creating a work of fiction wants to make their world different? Like, what if they wanted everybody to have blue skin or what if they wanted everybody to have x-ray vision? These are things that, that you can do in a fictional world that don't matter historically. So if your only issue with changing history is when it's more diverse and then you have a problem with it, that's a big red flag for me. Okay, it's, it's a massive red flag because I'm wondering why. And we talk about EVS specifically here because it's his quote. Uh, I don't want to assume anything about the way he feels in regards to that. But let's just take a look at his work of fiction, Cyberfrog, right? So Cyberfrog, what I know of it, I've read a little bit of the, the newer Cyberfrogs, is that it's in a world where there's a frog who's a cyborg, there's giant bees, there's this Vespa things uh, flying around, and uh, there's an alternate history to the 1990s. So why is it that it's okay for him to change history and to create a world where there's a cyborg frog and there's giant bees? Why is it okay for him to ignore the fidelity of history, but it's not okay if, say, for example, I wanted to make uh, a, a comic book where uh, the world is, is all gay people and they live in rainbow huts or whatever. I don't want to do that. But say, for example, I did. If I wanted to do that, what is the difference in me changing history in my comic book and him changing history in his comic book? If, if the only argument is that you don't want to see diversity, again, massive red flag for me. I, I think we need to understand that things that come out works of fiction. And this goes with TV shows, movies, all of these things. Uh, like The Little Mermaid. Like, oh, it's not historically accurate. Mermaids were historically white because of folklore 
like this idea that those are things that art has to adhere to, that someone creating their own art has to adhere to is ridiculous. It's just stupid. They don't have to do that. If I wanted to create my own version of Little Red Riding Hood, okay, I wanted to make my own version of it, I can literally do in my world anything I want to do to that. I don't have to give a shit about anything from the original story. I don't have to give a shit about it. I can do absolutely anything I want to do if I'm creating it from my point of view in a world that I am building. I can do anything I want to do with it as long as I'm not breaking any laws. Um, and that doesn't mean anything to anybody. Like, you don't have to like it. You don't have to support it, but you certainly shouldn't come out and be like, you can't do that because it's not historically accurate. That's not the way the original person intended for that story to go or whatever. No, it doesn't work. If I'm doing something that I want to do, I can do it. There's no reason for me to can be concerned about historical fidelity, continuity, anything like that. And uh, again, this is a weird take. People should be able to create the art they want to change history the way they want to in a fictional world. Uh, this shouldn't be a hot take, I guess, for me. It should be just... People should be allowed to create what they want to create.